uh, with Miss Marvel. A new trailer finally came out. Um, blinded by the lights. <laughs> yeah, everybody sing the song. Um, look, I was not gonna watch this movie, uh, this show. I was gonna skip it, but this trailer kind of got me interested. You know, I thought it looked fresh not like the fresh that mars skimped we crashed for um <laughs> but <laughs> pretty good uh, it feels kind of new it also feels not my demographic usually because i hate watching teen drama stuff but <coughs> this one seems interesting and um i know nothing about the character and i could care less about the power change or whatever which people are complaining about i don't give a fuck about that i think stretch stretch powers are stupid unless it's just mr fantastic i think everyone else is just stupid i don't like that power at all but yes it kind of is like green lantern power but who cares it looks cool um and it also is consistent kind of with captain marvel and all that so from the trailer, it seems like this is kind of like the Shazam character. You know, he's a fan of Superman and all that. She's a fan of Captain Marvel. And we're going to see her story in this. So she'll be also in the sequel, The Marvels, I think. So that's also pretty good. So yeah, um, not terribly excited. But I might give it a watch and see if it's good for me to continue. Yeah, it'll be something to have on the background while I construct my Obi Wan review, uh, because they are they are overlapping. <laughs> they, they are overlapping. <laughs> you know. Um, so look, this is this is this isn't a show for me because it's not. But I'll I'll check it out because I'm a, I'm a comic fan, comic book movie fan, show fan. Look, the trailer. I skipped cool Hawkeye and. Never gone back. Yeah, uh, yeah. well, maybe, but this trailer kind yeah, of you, uh, nah. Yeah, no, no. Maybe you should have. You, you skipped it, yeah, because it wasn't it wasn't fantastic. Yeah. But look, Miss um, Marvel. I hate Captain Marvel. Yeah. Do don't like the character. <laughs> hate the character. Hate the movie. Hate the movie. Uh, but I did like Monica Rambeau in uh, One Division. She's going to be in the next one. Yeah, isn't it? Yep. Captain Marvel too. She's got yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, uh, the Marvels. The Marvels, yeah, yeah. sorry, the Marvels. I had to get rid of Captain Marvel's yeah. name for it because it only made a billion. Could have made two billion if it wasn't called Captain Marvel. Um, but no, I think this this the show. Uh, it looks fun. I've said that about Marvel a lot, but it also had a nice tone to it. And I thought the music was a good choice. I think they kind of cheated I'm with that music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the I don't know if I would have watched this thing. show if they didn't have that music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good choice, but. The uh, I'm interested. I don't know anything about the character. I know they changed the powers. Couldn't care a toss. I don't care about the power change. Don't read the comics. Don't care. And average audiences won't care either. Nobody would care. Yeah. Uh, but I'm interested to learn about this character. I never heard of before. What kind of power she has? Where she comes from? And she idolizes superheroes. And I started watching the CW show in Naomi, where that character idolizes Superman. And I had to stop watching it because it was so <laughs> bad. But what really gave it away? It so bad. What gave it away? <laughs> non-existent unlikable characters just bleh, terrible it was terrible and i didn't you I, see I, the I title of it it was called cw's yeah. naomi yeah <laughs> superman and Lois, they got me in the first half not gonna lie um because because that night superman and Lois was on first and naomi was on second i was like okay i'll watch it yeah, forget about it. But yeah, it, it feels like that's what this is what that should have been uh, in terms of everything. Uh, but it's some uh, awesome. Looks like there's a lot of visual effects in it. Bigger visual effects than say uh, Hawkeye had, which is more yeah. grounded and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, so look, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Of course, I'll watch it. I'll uh, I'll, I'll watch it after Obi Wan. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna watch it straight away after Obi Wan, but I'll watch it at some stage after Obi Wan. Uh, uh, probably have to watch Obi Wan a few more times first before I watch this Marvel. Or, um, uh, yeah, so yeah, no, I think the actress looks like she's having a lot of fun as well. She looks like she has a good screen presence. The, the trailer had a good tone to it. So, yeah, I'll check it out, of course, just to review it and talk about it with you guys. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I wasn't excited for it, but the trailer got me a little bit interested. It also is kind of like a comic book because there's speech bubbles and stuff like that popping up on the screen. 
um and it's cute i guess and you know children probably will like it it's kind of like the diary of a wimpy kid or something like that so it has a different style to it uh from the other mcu stuff which i know phase four has been doing a lot and that's pretty good so yeah um i might check it out but a little fun fact episode one and the finale are directed by two directors bilal and adil al arbi who are doing the bad girl movie so i know that the yeah. episode the first episode is going to be good <laughs> look that's probably going to be their peak in the comic book genre um, <laughs> yeah you know they're they're not going to make uh they can't make the best batman centric movie with a seven-year-old batman and a female can they that's what the internet says we'll have to stay tuned <laughs> yeah Rokan, what did you think? No, I, 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 these guys, I just before he said that, the Bad Boys for Life was fantastic, so I can't wait to see these guys mm-hmm. tackle Marvel and DC, and that's awesome. Like James Gunn did. Yeah, and oh, the fact that they did this yeah. show and then brought the same production team to Bad Girl. So. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Rokan, what did you think? Are you upset about the power well, change? Are you ranting on the internet? I don't give a shit about the power change. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't. I mean, it's 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 like. I mean, you. I mean, for what the fact, you say stretching powers are lame. So that reminds me to not watch the Incredible. No, I mean the Incredible is yeah. pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Sorry to them, but yeah, in live but, action. No, but I of... mean, but fair enough in live action. Um, but uh, yeah. So I mean, look, I I. I I'm not attached to the Miss Marvel comic books like I know a few people are, so I, I, like I said, I could care less about the stretch of powers. Um, I'm just judging from what I've seen with the, with the show, with what I've seen from the trailer, and I'm going to be the complete opposite with you guys. I think it looks Wow. Cheap. It I does think, kind of look yeah, cheap compared to the other I, Marvel shows, definitely. It, yeah. It does. I mean, it, it feels like... It, it, it feels like when you look at the Marvel shows, you, you can tell they spent so much of their money on, you know, making sure like, you know, Falcon Winter Soldier looks cinematic, Hawkeye looks cinematic, Moon Knight yeah. looks cinematic, and this straight up looks like an ABC Family yeah. TV show. Like I, like I was, like it looks like one of those shows that you'd watch like with Pretty Little Lies or you know one of those or CW. Shows. So. Which, I mean, in fairness, I get it that it's supposed to be for, you know, for that demographic. And, you know, I can see 14, 15-year-old, 15-year-old girls really digging it. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. So if they, if they dig it, that's awesome. For me, I just look at it, I'm kind of like, it looks, it looks cheap. It looks like they're trying to do a Spider-Man homecoming, quirky high school type of, yeah. type of vibe to it. So... I'll probably I still watch it just because I do want I I'm curious to see how they how this connects with the Marvels and and uh, and whatnot so I'll check it out just out of, just out of curiosity but I'm not like hybrid in the same way I am for like Moon Knight oh really Moon Knight that top tier show that looks like on par with Daredevil <laughs> hey. A little bit of Oscar, I, a little bit of Oscar Isaac is what puts it over the line <laughs> yeah. for me. Okay, but like, I, it, it's still we can we can talk about like it looks cheap and stuff. But like the MCU is taking, it feels like it's taking more risks than what it's doing. Like it's offering mm-hmm. stuff like Eternal, like Shang Chi, like Black Widow, like we've seen, um, you know, One Division. Like there's different kinds of show out there. There's different shows for people. Like Moon Knight, as you said, looks kind of dark and gritty and stuff like that. Miss Marvel looks like it's more for if, younger audiences and stuff like that, which is it's awesome. That's cool. If you showed really me cool because if you showed me this trailer without telling me that it was for Miss Marvel and I wasn't, you know, following the production or the cast or anything, I could not have told you that this is a Marvel show at all. Yeah. I like there's nothing yeah. wrong with that whatsoever. And I like how they're being different. Yeah. So it might still have the generic MCU jokes and stuff like that, but look, that's okay because for me, this show will probably bring in a different demo- demographic, maybe more females to comic book movies. And that's good as well, because yeah. if you're a teenager... Not everything has to be made for us. Exactly. But the thing is, it, it comes back to us, because we're going to check out Miss Marvel, of course. Yeah. We'll go into it and we'll watch it. We might not be pleased by it or be amazed, but we'll check it out. But the people who maybe aren't big Batman fans or Spider-Man fans or, or Moon Knight fans, 
people check out Miss Marvel and they'll, they'll mm-hmm. like the show because they, maybe they can relate to it or it's fun or they find something interesting about it. And then they're like, oh, Miss Marvel was pretty cool. What's the next comic book movie or show that's coming out? And they go and they check out Thor Love and Thunder or whatever's coming out next. And the, like that helps the genre even more yeah. because then they're checking out the next thing. Oh, where's Miss Marvel showing up next? She's showing up in the Marvels. Oh, cool. I can't wait to watch that movie. You know, so like, cannot wait for her to replace Captain Marvel. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Kill, uh, uh, kill, yeah. Uh, Captain Marvel <laughs> off in the next movie. Um, <clears throat> I'd rather see Samuel L. Jackson as Captain Marvel than uh, <laughs> Brie Larson. But uh, look, <laughs> that's a pretty <laughs> drastic <laughs> change on all levels. Yeah, that is... <laughs> yeah, but no, I, I, Brie Larson is a fantastic <laughs> a- actor. I just don't like the way the characters written. Yeah. Hope, but I am intrigued because new directors are coming in for the sequel. So I, yes. I do have hopes that it can be, it can be. Uh, good uh, so, so we'll see but um yeah no yeah it's good i'll check out the show it's for a different demographic and if you remember the captain marvel when it came out like a lot of families were going to see it in terms of mothers and daughters and stuff like that you know like that's okay that's, that's yeah. Fine. Oh, yeah that's that's cool oh yeah i mean like my 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 thing has always just been different strokes for different folks yeah. you know what i mean so yeah. it's like you know as long as as long as you're as long as you're happy happy about it, you're not hurting anybody anybody while doing it. That's the bottom <laughs> yeah. line. So, exactly. well, yeah, I, I, oh, yeah. And, and, I think I think the first Captain know. Marvel did hurt a few people, but yeah, I no, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Well, just I'll I'll, I'll give you a ver- I'm give you a hug right now. <laughs> there you go. It, it can't hurt. It can't hurt you anymore. I'd rather my money back, but it's okay. <laughs> The only good thing about that yeah, movie, yeah, I would yeah, say, yeah, was right. Agent Coulson. <laughs> I love seeing him, seeing him. So, yeah. Well, and, and also, and remember. also the fact that uh, you know, also Captain Marvel wear, wears a nine nails shirt at one point, and that's a positive. True, thing. true. I actually, but, I don't remember much. Yeah. I remember her, her screaming in that movie at the at the green guy. That's all I remember. <laughs> also, uh, but, another fact about this show is that. She is a Pakistani character and Pakistani actress, and she's also a Muslim character. So this is the first time they're doing Marvel is doing it, and it's pretty, um, it's pretty big for that community as well. So, yeah, I was gonna bring, I was gonna bring that, bring that up too with you know the actors in Moon Knight mm, and, and with yeah. this, and you know me being, me being, me being half, me being half uh, Middle Eastern, that. It is. It is. It's extremely, extremely comforting to see more, more of those actors, especially in something as large as a Marvel project. And you know, they're and they're the heroes. You know, they're not like the side characters or the bad guys. They're they, they're helping I save agree. the day. Yeah. And that's yeah. Cool. And Marvel was yeah. the first one to get to it, out of all the others, as usual. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's pretty good. I'll be checking it out. Um, I don't know what to expect, so that's a good thing. I also my my expectations are also pretty low, so that's also a good thing. It can only impress me. Um, so I.